Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money in crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Coming to you guys live from, uh, well, that's a lie. I'm not live. Uh, I'm in Miami right now, though. You guys see the beautiful water out there? You see how wide it is? It's amazing. I hate camera glares. I just want to tell you that. But here's the thing, guys. Today, uh, I'm here at the Miami Crypto Experience. I'm speaking here tomorrow about decentralized finance. I got a lot going on. But, of course, we can't leave you hanging. I got to come tell you what's going on in the crypto markets. And we just got the largest four-hour green candle for Ethereum in months. It is pushing back up to $2,500. And not only that, Binance Coin, over $600. We're going to talk a little bit about Binance Coin today, uh, a little about Ethereum, uh, and, you know, something for Bitcoin that is pretty cool, I got to admit it. So, uh, first and foremost, if you want to try any of uh, Bitcoin trading at Bybit, you guys make sure to head on over to bitboycrypto.com slash deals. Sorry, I'm getting used to this new gimbal. Uh, head on down to the Bybit section. You go down to the Market Cipher section as well, and uh, you can get 10% off Market Cipher. And then, of course, once you sign for Bybit, go to the Rewards Hub. I told you guys yesterday that Ethereum was gearing up. I told you guys I was really considering jumping in Ethereum long, and I didn't. Why? Well, just because I just haven't had time. It was real crazy yesterday. I had a ton of videos to record because you guys know, even when we're out of town, you guys get three videos a day. That's what we do on this channel. The quantity plus the quality is why you watch. And, of course, for the crypto gains. But it turns out that was actually correct. Because while Bitcoin is still sitting around $56,000 right now, Ethereum is charging back up to $2,500. Uh, right now, sitting at about $2,425 at the time of this recording. Now, what is going to happen from here for Ethereum? Well, I got to say, I wasn't sure if in the short term, Ethereum was going to hit $3,000. But it definitely, at this point, looks like it is going to. Here is why. Bitcoin is still down like 8% from the all-time high, maybe closer to 9%. Ethereum is already almost right back at its all-time high. Think about that. Once Bitcoin starts to slowly climb back up, which I now believe is happening, for a few days I was really wondering what was going to happen. I think Bitcoin is going to climb back up towards the $62,000 level. I don't know how long it's going to take it to get there. Don't know if the, uh, let, let me tell you this about the futures contracts. At the end of the month, we've been crushed in futures contracts month after month after month for three months in a row. Now we're in April. We have some large futures contracts closes coming in. I think right now it's sitting around $4 billion. However, there's actually more calls than puts this month, which puts us in a little bit different of a situation. If you know anything, if you know anything about uh, crypto trading, what you will know is that when you think you got something figured out, it changes. And so we've been anticipating uh, for all month that at the end of this month, we will see prices drop dramatically uh, because that's what we've seen three months in a row. But could this month be different? You know, $80,000 is a target on a lot of people's minds still. Even the institutional investors, the futures contracts, that's the main number they're looking at. On the downside, they are looking at 40 to 50K, but 80K is in play for the institutional investors. Is this is the biggest amount of volume on a call, which basically just means a long on a futures contract. So could we see $80,000? Well, I don't care if we see $80,000 or not this month. It's looking like the price of Bitcoin is getting ready to climb, meaning... Ethereum is primed to go above $3,000 if Bitcoin can just get back up to about $62,000. It doesn't even have to set new all-time highs. So something to watch for Ethereum, something to watch for Bitcoin. Uh, you know, before we get to Binance coin, I also want to talk about uh, something I saw yesterday that kind of got swept under the rug. Visa is now coming out with a pay with crypto option. Now, this will be different than the other pay with crypto options that we've seen from companies like crypto.com and, um, you know, with the crypto.com card, uh, other, sorry, this gimbal is like driving me crazy. From other companies, uh, this method of payment is going to be settled in crypto. So we're, we've yet to see exactly how this is going to work speed wise um, in terms of Bitcoin being slow or transactions taking a long time. Like, how can you? you know, pay for something with crypto and then just let it sit there. Maybe it will come directly out of your crypto account on PayPal. That's probably 
the most likely scenario. So, you know, PayPal would have a record of knowing how much Bitcoin you have, and then you do the transaction. And then, you know, they just debit that from your account, basically, and then the actual transaction happens much later. But the thing is, important about this is, and guys, we're starting to see a fundamental shift here. Visa is saying that they want these to be settled in crypto. They don't want these to be settled in dollars, which is very unusual, very uh, cutting edge for the crypto world. So in my opinion, I think this is really big, massive news that kind of got swept under the rug yesterday uh, with, you know, kind of some crazy news we're going to talk about now, which is the Binance.us news. Catherine Coley officially is leaving Binance.us and its managing board. Brian Brooks, the new CEO of Binance.us, said yesterday in a video interview with uh, Coindesk that Kevin Coley is officially departing. Now, we don't know why. We don't know if this was her decision, his decision. I went to Catherine. I'll miss, I love Catherine. Catherine's great. Um, I, I went to her Twitter. She hasn't really made an announcement about anything, next move, transition, uh, not, no comments about the departure or anything like that. So we we'll just have to see what happens here. But Brian Brooks taking over Binance.us is really big. He's got a lot of pull in the government. But not only that. Okay, he came from Coinbase before he went to the government. So what does that mean? Well, he knows the insides and outs, the inside and out of Coinbase and what they do over there. So armed with that, it seems like CZ picked this guy off. Um, and, uh, you know, the relationship between Binance US and Binance.com is not super clear. It's actually an affiliate. It's not even a subsidiary. But CZ came out and made some comments yesterday about this. Uh, basically saying that they're very excited about having Brian Brooks on board to represent the Binance brand. And, you know, I'm really excited to see what this is going to do for Binance.us. Why? It sucks. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, Binance.us, I've been getting so many... Sorry, my nose is itching. <laughs> Binance.us, I've been getting so many messages from people and friends saying their accounts are frozen and they can't do anything about it. You guys know their verification process is extremely slow. Customer support, not great. And why is that? Well, I think for Binance.us, I think they blew up a little too quickly. Uh, you know, they launched in 2019, I believe it was. Uh, and they launched very slow with very few coins, but they've been adding and they keep adding more. And, you know, Cardano, you could pretty much only get it if you're an American on Binance.us for a long time. And I think they got really overworked. I think they, the traffic was higher than they expected. But this move, putting Brian Brooks at the forefront, uh, and, and look, Catherine Coley was no slouch. Uh, she came from XRP. She was in charge of their liquidity uh, from Ripple Labs. So she had a lot of good experience. But Brian Brooks being on the inside of Coinbase before, I think gives him extra insight uh, to understand the best way to operate from a, a business standpoint in the United States. Now, something else that was said was that due to all their regulatory licenses, any assets that they can add, now they're going to go ahead and add. This is not just talking about crypto. Okay, this is also talking about what CZ and, and Binance.com have done with uh, the, the Tesla and the uh, Coinbase stock tokens that they added. It looks like there may be some plans to add some type of derivative stock tokens to Binance.us in the near future, which would be cool because, man, I tell you, I've been using the stock market. It sucks. I really hate it. There's nothing fun about it. It's closed all the time. Imagine being able to trade these tokens after hours. This is how we take over Wall Street. Now, in response to this, I believe Binance Coin has been crushing it. Crossed over $600 yesterday. Right now, sitting at $586. I've been telling you guys for two weeks, buy Binance Coin. You want to own Binance Coin. They're making big moves. If you can't see the larger plan right now, then you're not paying attention. Binance.com is looking at Coinbase looking at all the notoriety, all the attention they're getting, and they're saying, wait, we're the biggest in the world, and they're coming for it. That's why they picked up Brian Brooks. So Binance Coin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. In my opinion, they all look poised to move here in the short term. I think Ethereum probably will hit $3,000. I don't want to give you guys an exact date, um, at least by the 4th of July. <laughs> don't hold me to that. I'm not dressing up like a flag. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, we'll have a, another video. we got two more videos for you guys today. Uh, interview with Crypto Stash, top three NFT coins, and later today, we've got top five underrated coins in crypto. You're definitely going to want to check that out. Back with something else for you guys tomorrow morning. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.